what we are doing to take advantage of television as it emerges onto different platforms is use each of them and understand each of them discreetly and how they are how they are best uh, uh, portrayed in order to forward the goals of the brands. Uh, for instance, Snapchat, of course, has an aspect ratio that goes north-south. Um, so we're building video specifically short form, uh, vertical orientation. Uh, Facebook, you're scrolling by it in your news feed, so we're looking at, okay, how do we create a message that is impactful, that is in less than three seconds, and then, of course, long form videos uh, that might go on say YouTube that uh, can educate, uh, inform, tell a brand story, perhaps entertain. So really looking at each platform individually uh, for what it's best suited for. With a lot of new media, you either have to invert the narrative, meaning the punchline can't come at the end of a 30 second spot, but has to start with a big emotive visual cue that this is going to be something interesting or working with something that's very, very short, three to five seconds. I mean, back in uh, the day we thought Vine videos were short at seven seconds. Well, something in stream on Facebook, you've got two, three seconds in order to make an impact. So tell us a little bit about um, the new kinds of video units if you're seeing uh, either on mobile or on desktop that, you know, that are, are valuable perhaps. Well, we're seeing these in-stream videos, we're seeing, of course, Vine videos and Snapchat, as well as uh, pre-roll, post-roll, mid-roll on streaming videos on the desktop, so that each one of them is different and each one of them is an opportunity for us and our clients. The Valley continues to expand. Obviously, Facebook is, is moving very, very quickly. Google continues to turn in astounding numbers. I think Twitter has a, obviously had a change of a CEO and there seems to be a life injected into it, so things in the Valley seem to be expanding uh, at a, a quick rate like usual. Clients are, are constantly looking for the new new. So what are the new products, the new ideas, the new opportunities on media platforms? It also is a great chance to, to network. It, uh, CES occurs six months almost to the day ahead of Con, and it's a good time to regroup with some of our media partners, our uh, hardware and, and software providers. So clients are, are constantly looking for something new and fresh. They're looking for expansion, particularly around video. You're, what you're seeing is a massive proliferation of video and the opportunities in there expanding. Of course, programmatic has gone uh, from sort of the avant-garde more into the mainstream now, and data is coming to the forefront to really drive all of these decisions and all of these insights. Clients are looking for great ideas, innovation, and insights like usual. The advance of programmatic media or automated media buying continues unabated. It's, uh, I don't know the exact percentages, but it's a huge component of our business. I think we're moving past the idea that we can automate the I.O. or the buy itself into much more insights led, much more algorithmically led, something that shows results and tying that specifically to the buy and specifically to the creative, which I think is the next big wave of innovation tying programmatic buying to dynamic creative.